Hi guys, I am Isa, and today we're going to continue our Lua tutorials. So today we're going to learn how to do user input in Lua. So right now I have VS yes, Code opened. So if you want to use Lua to, I mean, if you want to use VS Code to code in Lua, you want to install this Lua extension. So just search for Lua and. This should be the first. This should be the first result. So, anyways, before we get into the inputs, I'm just want to show you the difference between print and io dot write. So, if I write print, hello, and I write another one, and I run the Google file. There's going to be a line. So after it prints this hello, it's going to make a new line that prints that hello. But if we use io.write, so let me just replace all of these with io.write. There's, there's not going to be new lines. So everything's going to be on the same line. So we're going to use that for our inputs. So anyways, Going to say io dot write. What is your name? So well, I'm going to say name is equal to io dot read. So io dot read is just used to get user input. So now, if I run the go user input dot it says what is your name, so I could write something. So when it does nothing, but what it's doing is it's actually storing the data. Let me just write the local name. So, what local does is that, well, if we try to access the variable anywhere else, like if we actually access the function, it's, it's not going to work. So, anyways, I would just say print your name is, and I'm going to join that with the name. Which says that. So, anyways, um, the next thing that we're going to do is to put all this code into a function. We're going to say function get name. So just get name function. I'm going to say I'm going to say um io dot write what is your name and say go cool name which is just Want to say local name is equal to io dot read. So I want to just tag out this. I want to say return name. So now I'm going to say local name is equal to get name. Now it does the same thing. So let me add a parameter called Q. Actually, I'm going to call it question. I'm going to change this from getting to get input. 
So instead of writing what is the name, it's good to write a question. So and is so that's going to be it. So I'm just going to wish this was get input. So the question is going to be what is your name? So I'm also going to join the question with this column. Now if I want to get it, so what is your name? So it's still working. So I'm going to make another variable. A is equal to get input. What is your age? So now, so it just says that. So I do. So I'm going to add another string. It says your age. Is and I'm going to join that with the age variable. So let me just add a few more. Like, let me make another variable local. Say go go school to go to get input. What is your school? So I'm gonna add that as well. again so now, now it shows the correct thing. so now let me just tag out all of these so let me just make a simple calculator I'm to say num1 is equal to get input what is the first number? So I'm going to use the to number function on it. So we're just going to turn the string into a number. And I'll just say num2. I'm just going to put local in it. So I'm going to say local num2 is equal to to number. Get input. What is the second number? So I end up going to say local result is equal to num1 plus num2. I'm going to say print num1 plus num2. Equals result. So if I take like five, this number will be eight. That's five. It says five plus eight is equal to thirteen. 